eight broken bones. Poor. Jorge Martin was having the time of his life in 2021 until that uneventful crash. Accidents are unpredictable on the racetrack and all racers try their best to avoid serious accidents. But for Jorge Martin, he would face his most serious accident, which resulted in him breaking eight bones that day in the Portuguese Grand Prix. We'll cover more on Jorge's accident and recovery in the video. But just to assure you, he's recovering well and fighting once again for the championship. 11-time Grand Prix winner Jorge Martin took to the racetracks in 2012 and made many victories for himself. He was not spared from the ups and downs of the racetrack, but always managed to pull through. Did you know he was the first rider to earn Pramac Racing its first ever victory in the MotoGP? As we will discuss later in the video, Jorge has always been an exceptional rider and a man of his word with a great personality. Yep, Jorge's team will always remember him as a man of his word. What could he have said and done to earn such an honor? You'll realize that he didn't face just a single accident, but many more on his way to stardom. Stay tuned to find out. By 2012, Jorge Martin was competing for the Red Bull Rookies Cup, but unfortunately, the season had him face several injuries. He tried the following year again and finished in second place behind Carol Haneke. He dominated the same championship in 2014 and finally claimed the crown. What retribution! Jorge decided to move forward the next season and competed in his first ever Moto3 World Championship season as part of the Mahindra Mapfre Aspar team. An amazing 7th place in Aragon pushed him to complete the year in position 17 overall, where he and Team Aspar decided to keep their relationship going for 2016. Jorge was still with the Aspar team in 2016, where they took part in the Moto3 World Championship. He finally got his chance to stand on the Czech Grand Prix podium, which was his first ever after finishing in 2nd place. He finished the season in 16th position in the overall standings with 72 points. Jorge moved to Del Conca Grassini in 2017 to replace Enea Bastianini. As soon as he joined, he showed off what he was capable of by leading the qualifying and being on the pole for the first half of the whole season. He was impressively on the podium nine times, even after an injury mid-season. His maiden victory after the season pushed him up to position four overall. Jorge won the 2018 Moto3 Class Championship and accomplished even more victories. That would include seven wins in Malaysia, Aragon, Germany, the Netherlands, Italy, America, and Qatar. He was second place twice in Valencia and San Marino, third place in Austria, and kept on with his spectacular Saturday performances, achieving 11 pole positions. He had 260 points, but unfortunately for Jorge, he was again forced to sit out the Czech Grand Prix after fracturing his left arm. In 2019, Jorge made his home in the Red Bull KTM Aho in Moto2 and blessed his team with a third place in Japan and a second place finish in Austria, grabbing the podium finishes towards the end of the season. Jorge was charging for the championship title in 2020. He had a podium finish at the Spanish GP, with another podium and victory in the Spielberg double. Unfortunately, his streak was cut short when he tested positive for COVID-19 and had to miss out on the Misano double, with more sit-outs afterwards that completely took him out of the competition for the championship. He still had three more podiums at the close of the season, together with a win in Valencia, which left him in fifth position in the standings. For the 2021 season, Jorge was with Pramac racing Ducati in the Premier Class. He kicked off the season with a 15th position in his first Premier Class race, followed by his first ever MotoGP podium. That major accident. Things turned for the worse for Jorge when he had a very serious accident in Portimao, which saw him break not just a few, but eight bones. He had no choice but to miss the Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, and French races, with other racers racing as his replacement. Jorge was supposed to return for the Italian Grand Prix, but his doctors advised him to sit out the race. He suffered a lot and had to spend a lot of time with his recovery regime set out by his doctors. He went through strict everyday physio and returned after 43 days, energized for the Catalan Grand Prix, and came in 14th place overall, then a 12th place at the German Grand Prix. Just when he was making his comeback, he had to sit out the Dutch GP because of physical problems with his biceps, 
and on top of it, having tendinitis. Jorge claimed his second pole position at the Styria GP, and after a red flag incident, he had his maiden MotoGP victory after a race restart. This win earned Pramac Racing its first ever victory in the MotoGP, with Jorge becoming the third modern 1000cc era rider to be victorious in his rookie season race. He grabbed his third pole position in the next weekend in Austria, together with his third podium, and completed the race in third position. In the Valencia season finish, Jorge claimed his fourth podium and fourth pole position, completing the race in second position. He collected 111 points, which put him in ninth place in the championship, and was Rookie of the Year with nine points more than Enea Bastianini. What's up with Jorge's helmet? All riders are always careful when picking their helmet, and he's no exception. Jorge got into a deal with Shark Helmets in 2021, one of the world's best helmet-making brands. Many riders rely on the brand because of its high-quality helmets. Jorge has worn his well-designed and quality helmet in many Grand Prix races. The helmet is made from strong carbon fiber and is very hard and strong to give him the best head protection possible in case of a fall from his bike. Safety first, right? Here are some interesting things about Jorge Martin. Number 1. If you're one of his social media followers, you may have already seen his beloved pet dog, Koala. The beagle is often spotted in his posts, and her name originated from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's capital city, where Jorge claimed the Moto3 World Championship. Koala has a significant social media presence, so much so that she even has her very own Instagram account. Number 2. Jorge got his first Premier Class win at the Styria GP in the Red Bull Ring. An image of him covered in the Spanish flag with the Osborne ball has long lived in memory. The flag can be considered synonymous with riders born in Madrid, and is the same flag that his parents, Susana Almoguera and Angel Martin, have carried to the circuit since 1987 as they cheer for Spanish riders, including a special dedication to Alex Crevillier, the 1999 world champion. The flag made its way to the headlines in 2018 after Jorge Martin raised it during his lap of honor after claiming the Moto3 title and Sepang. Number 3. Many riders had much time to themselves during the COVID-19 global pandemic. The world had shut down as a way to deal with the virus. Jorge used his extended time off to better himself and study nutrition, which he felt was important to his career. He even stated that it's very important for a sports person to know what he eats and why. Number 4. Jorge's success on the racetracks is as clear as the night sky, but he has some hidden talents. Living in Andorra has made him a talented snowboarder on the slopes, which he regularly visits. Number 5. As much as his number is 89, his preferred number has always been 88. Miguel Oliveira had already taken the number after graduating from MotoGP, leaving Jorge with no choice but to go for number 89. Number 6. Jorge also has 15 tattoos on his body which comprises a wide range of animals, including slogans, though his favorite tattoo is 080821, which indicates the date he had his first victory in the Premier Class at the Styria GP. Number 7. Jorge had not always put his entire focus on motorcycles. As a youth, he tried giving martial arts a chance. As much as he may have probably been able to emulate the great Rafael Nadal on the tennis court, deciding to race was the best choice he ever made. Number 8. Jorge has a big personality, which was evident on the track during his rookie year. He used his personality to create new friends within the paddock, especially with Alesh Espargaro, with whom he often cycles and trains. Number 9. Jorge rose from despair to utter joy after struggling with his injuries. He promised to take his team on a trip to Punta Cana if he could claim a podium standing in the second part of the season. When he won the Styria GP, his garage erupted into chanting, Punta Cana. He admitted that he had never forgotten about it during his final few laps, pushing him to do even better. Jorge proved he is a man of his word and kept his promise. His personal life what he does during his free time. Jorge has an athletic body and as a professional motorbike racer, he often spends some time in practice and the gym. He often rides his bike during his free time for fun. His dating life. Jorge Martin is not yet married, but he has been dating his girlfriend, Annabel Hernandez. He's known her for a long time and she sometimes attends Jorge's MotoGP races. She is very beautiful, smart and intelligent. She's also a social media influencer and model by profession. Annabelle has a YouTube channel where she often posts videos of her cosmetic processes. She's a supportive woman and always attends his racing competitions to cheer him on. As much as they live together, they're not married or engaged. 
The couple had been spotted taking vacations in their photos and videos. So far, they don't have any children, but it is not certain if they plan on having any children in the future. His social media presence Jorge is an active social media user on Instagram and Twitter. He often updates his fans about his tournaments and matches. He also posts pictures of his family, vacations, and teammates, which has gained him many followers worldwide. His net worth Jorge's net worth is estimated to be $1 million. He's participated in various MotoGP tournaments throughout his career, but what determines riders' net worth is their performance on the racetrack, which for Jorge has been fantastic. A huge part of his earnings comes from tournament prize money, merchandise, deals, and sponsorship deals. He's also earned a lot of money from the teams he's ridden with. Peaceful seas do not produce skilled sailors, and we can say the same for Jorge Martin in MotoGP terms. The good and the bad on the racetracks have molded him into the great rider he is today. Jorge's accidents have certainly held him back and hurt his chances of a works factory seat for the 2023 season, where he lost out to fellow rider Anea Bastianini. We know it's a tough blow to take, but his talent will shine through in the coming seasons. Be sure to check out Moto Plus for more fantastic videos. See you there!